Hey, Aqua Boy Rocks. It's Thunder Egg Thursday, and I've got one more Thunder Egg rock counting video for you from my Pacific Northwest trip. And I've still got a couple other non Thunder Egg locations I'm going to take you to, but this will be the last Thunder Egg location. And actually, it's a return trip to one of the claims that I already took you to. But this time I had my tools with me and I could actually dig and get some slightly bigger eggs. So after the Friend Ranch trip that you've already seen, I said I was headed up in the Ochacos and this is where I was headed to go dig around and try and find some little bit bigger eggs than these are the little ones here that you've seen in one of the other videos. Neat little eggs, but I wanted some a little bit bigger than that. So we are going to right now head back out into the Ochicos, about 6,000 feet of elevation, and do a little digging, and then we'll come back and look at some eggs and cut them. Hey, Akawaha Boy Rocks. I am out here for round two at the, oop, over there, the claim that I got permission to dig on. So I didn't really get to dig here before. It's um, about 63 degrees now. It was 39 and windy, and I'd already gotten rained on when I was up here before. So I wasn't in much of a mood to dig in the dirt. So had a little bit of time. Uh, swung back down here from Washington on my way back to Idaho to fly home in a couple of days. So I have some time to go dig here. So get my tools and head that way. All right, I'm heading back here kind of towards the back of this area. There was a spot with a lot of float material. There's really a lot of float material all through here. But one in particular kind of looked promising to me. And it was in the shade too. So if I can figure out which one that was, I uh, will dig. Yep, here we are. Um, you know, I kind of start in right here. There's about 6,000 little ones. And I'm going to dig down and hope to find some bigger ones. Okay, so I'm already pulling out a bunch of slightly larger small ones. So I'm making a pile of possibles over here. And I'll keep working on it. It's only about three shovels full of dirt there. All right, I finally flipped up my first decent egg. Maybe missing some rhyolite back here. This side looks real good. That side maybe not so much. But it's good and heavy. It's going to be full of agate. And for only pulling that much dirt out, and that one being right there, I think this hole has promise. Either somebody high graded that because of that little bit of missing rhyolite, or there's going to be some eggs down in this hole. All right, there are so many little eggs and rocks in this hole which is pretty normal out here you really have to get down and check things out pretty often so i've got a rock i keep hitting here and it's a broken double that's some real pretty common opal so that'll definitely go home with me. Oh, there we go. I can 
cut the rest of that half off there and then cut the egg and maybe get something out of it. So this is only about three minutes after the last one. And you can see the hole hasn't gotten that much bigger. So down I go. I'm changing my tactics here a little bit to, oh, and there's an egg, kind of scraping away. Up on the pile, scraping away. And there's another one. That one's, I think I'm going to high grade that one out. Doing this part with my hammer. And then coming back with the shovel and clearing the loose stuff out. It's working a little better. And I think I'm less apt to screw up the eggs. Broken one. Just throwing all these things in a pile. Everything that goes to my right is a maybe to take home. And everything that goes to my left is pretty much a straight away reject. All right. Time to shovel that out again. There's another respectable one. Came out of the front of the hole up here. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this hole so far. Get myself a pile to go through when I leave there. The Jeep's just right over there, so I don't have to be super picky with what I'm going to carry. Okay, I didn't show you pulling those two broken ones out. And then I'm trying to dig the hole out here. I hit something else. Oh, no, nope, that isn't that great. Thought that was going to be the edge of something. There's a little one I might keep. Another, another little one. There's just millions of this size. Maybe a double. All right, time to shovel some more. All right, hammer just popped out another rock. Looks like a, at least most of an egg. So I'll throw it over there. I decide to keep the 
camera going and do this, nothing comes out. As soon as I put the camera down, something comes out. Looks like there could be something in here. Uh, part of one at one time. Just keep scraping and pulling this stuff towards me. Makes it easy to shovel out later. Okay, time to shovel. Okay, this is the crap shoot that is rock digging. I can definitely feel myself hit a larger rock here. There's nothing to do but try and work it out. And, well, this time it is most of an egg. I can see agate in it. Got one really good half. So it'll go on the on the maybe pile. That's just what you have to do is scrape away and listen for Oh man, that one's really kind of pretty inside, but looks pretty fractured up. But you just listen for that. I hit a rock sound like right here. Start to move everything out of the way. And a rock is exactly what I hit. Whether I'm digging in someone else's tailings or digging in fresh dirt, I don't know. I suspect fresh dirt because there's that root that hadn't been disturbed. Trying not to totally wreck it. But it is much easier to dig here than a lot of places I've dug. We got here a rock. Okay, that's going to be it for me in this claim. Uh, good little pile of material there. I'm just going to take all of that with me. I've pretty much got my hole filled in. There was already a hole here, so it's um. The dirt's moved around a little bit to the other side, but it's all back in the hole. I've got another spot or two that I want to check out, and this is my last day out here, so I can't dilly-dally too long in one place. And remember, I did get a whole bag of little eggs from here already the other day, so... Now I've got some baseball size ones and I think I've done pretty well here. See you next Thunder Egg Thursday. All right, here are the little bit bigger eggs. This is a piece of conglomerate, so you'll see that one in a different video. So I'm gonna grab a few of these and put them on the saw and then We'll take a look at them. All right, I cut four eggs from the spot in the Ochikos. Now, except for that little one, these are all pretty fractured up, 
but I also think they look pretty neat. So let's start with this one back here. Got some peach colored common opal and some really dark green jasper. And it kind of melds together in a mossy looking pattern. I really like that. So it's a little double there. I will go to this little one. This one's a little more solid. Pretty straightforward egg. This one is really just all broken up, but it looks kind of neat with that. that kind of peachy looking common opal there. And then this one is a quadruple. And the first thing is this piece came off on the saw. That needs some more time in the kitty litter, but how about that moss? You want a little piece there. And here's the side that stayed together. Moss isn't as good on that side, but... All in all, considering these pretty much came from way up in the freeze zone, so they've been frozen and thawed many, many times. And I'm pretty happy with them. So I will see you next Thunder Egg Thursday.